Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of appendicular abscess. An 11 year old female patient came with severe right lower abdominal pain for 5 days. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the low frequency ultrasound of the right iliac fossa. You can see the iliac vessels here. Adjacent to iliac vessels, you can see a complex cystic area. It doesn't look any quick, rather the internal low-level echoes are seen. Surrounding fats are irregular and thickened. You can see the psoas muscle separated from the lesion, but the lesion is adjacent to it. You can see a glimpse of right kidney also. So this lesion took our attention and let's see it on high frequency ultrasound. Here's a high frequency ultrasound image. You can see the lesion here at the right iliac fossa adjacent to the iliac vessels and the psoas muscle. You see it shows low level internal echoes. This is typical for an abscess. And surrounding thick and fat layer is seen. Right iliac fossa is a common site to check the motility of the gut, but here the surrounding gut motility is diminished. So this lesion is suspected as a case of appendicular abscess. Here adjacent to this lesion you can see multiple hypoechoic round and oval structures. These are the surrounding prominent lymph nodes, which also indicate inflammatory process. Let's put some color Doppler. Here's a low frequency ultrasound picture. You can see the iliac vessels and adjacent to these vessels you can see the lesion with no internal vascularity but you can see prominent peripheral vascularity due to inflammatory process let's see it on high frequency you can see there is no internal vascularity rather peripheral prominent vascularity is seen Here you can see the low frequency Doppler ultrasound picture showing the perilational vascularity. Here's again the Doppler pictures on high frequency ultrasound showing peripheral prominent vascularity. We have took sample from the peripheral adjacent artery which shows low resistant flow indicating inflammatory process. The lesion is ill-defined at this area, however it's around 6 cm in maximum length. Another picture of the lesion on high frequency ultrasound. You can see a tiny lymph node here. Here is the picture of the psoas muscle and you can see the relation of this abscess with the psoas muscle. It's adjacent to the muscle and you can see a slight compression over the psoas muscle. But the psoas muscle fibers look normal with no intrapsoas abnormality at present. Here is the picture of the lymph nodes. Prominent hypoechoic oval and round lymph nodes are seen adjacent to the abscess. So in summary, the right iliac fossa shows an irregular thick wall complex collection with internal low level echoes. The vermiform appendix is not separately visualized. Surrounding fat plane thickening is seen. The adjacent bar loops show sluggish movements. Color Doppler shows prominent perilational vascularity. The lesion compresses adjacent psoas muscle with no intrapsoas abnormality at present. Multiple prominent adjacent lymph nodes are seen. So this features concluded as a case of right iliac fossa abscess possibly of appendicular origin.
Now the take home message, whenever you diagnose a case of gangrenous appendicitis or appendicular abscess, you should look for adjacent peritoneal collection. If you see the peritoneal collection, then suspect perforation on that case. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and visit imagingstudy.com. With this video, we end our December session with daily case videos. Hope you enjoyed it and get connected to us soon. We are giving you another surprise on the month of January. Wish you all the best. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.